Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today we will learn in this lesson about leaf margins that how the leaf margins look like. Uh, the first case here you can see uh, this is entire leaf. This leaf you, uh, you can see it has smooth edges. There is no cutting from the sides from the edges. Uh, such leaf is called as entire leaf. Uh, the second one is dented. Denta means teeth. Uh, leaf look like uh, as it has produced teeth. Here you can see these are teeth like structure which are produced by the leaf. Such leaf is called as dentate leaf. Next is serrate leaf, saw shift. This is saw and uh, this is the, exactly the leaf you can see uh, which has produced the margin which are uh, looking upward in, in the shape of a saw. So this leaf is called as serrate leaf. Uh, in the next case, uh, uh, incisions are produced in the leaf, which may be very deep. Here you can see, this is plantaris orientalis. Uh, these are the deep incision in the leaf. Uh, such leaf is called as incised leaf, uh, in which the margin are irregular with cuts which are deep and sharp. Next is uh, shapes of leaves. Uh, this is the first one. This is linear as you can see straight forward. Here. This is leaf. This is leaf. This is typha. Uh, the leaves are long and narrow in shape. Second one is lensulate. <coughs> lens shape. This is lens which is used in uh, previously in the uh, primitive type this was used in words uh, this leaf uh, looks like the lens and therefore uh, this is called as lensulate leaf which is tapering narrow this is the tapering end this is the tapering end uh, <coughs> to the to a point at the apex apex means tip so at the tips these leaves are very much tapering uh, therefore they are called as lensulate leaf next is rounded this is the example of a rounded leaf here you can see lamina is round about circular in shape elliptical uh, means a leaf is like ellipse uh, the shape of earth you can see uh, this is this is taper at one side and also taper at the other side so such leaf is called as elliptical leaf next is oval shaped egg shaped leaf uh, this is here you can see this is uh, uh, taper at one side and uh, rounded at the other side. This leaf is called as a weight leaf. Here is the example of uh, inverted action. In this case the broader end is at the upper side and the narrow end is the lower side. In the previous case uh, the leaf was broader at the base and narrow at the tip and uh, in this case the leaf is broader, broader at the upper side and uh, it look like an inverted egg like structure so it is called as a overhead leaf this is spatula uh, like spoon or cooking meat, uh, uh, article you can see in kitchen uh, this is broader at the upper end here you can see here it is it broader like this spoon like structure and uh, narrow at the base here it is narrow just like this one this is called a spatulate leaf this is oblique this is interesting uh, here if you notice this part of the leaf is larger and this part of the leaf is comparatively smaller in the same way this part of the leaf is smaller and this was uh, um, part is somehow larger. So two unequal houses are produced. Such leaf is called as oblique. Next one is oblong. In this case, you can see the leaf is the longer than broader. Its, its length is more as compared to its width. Here you can see such leaf is called as oblong leaf. This is interesting. Uh, this leaf you can see it's, it is just like kidney 
this one and uh, this is called as reniform leaf yeah, that is kidney shaped leaf and this one is also very interesting it looks like a heart uh, and uh, this is called from cordium which means a heart itself it looks like a heart and therefore called as cordate leaf this is the leaf which is called as laret laret shaped that is a building a, a historical building uh, you have seen in stories and pictures etc uh, uh, this leaf is called as uh, laret leaf uh, it has a upper longer lamina this this one this is longer and uh, at lower side it had produced some lobes this is the lobe this is the lobe and this is the lobe here you can see this is the lobe and uh, as you go to the upper side then it become taper and nearing this is called a slurred leaf next is leaf surface leaf looks different surfaces uh, the first one uh, is hairy here you can see there are many minute hair you can see here 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 many hairs are present on this leaf this is called as hairy leaf and this one is just opposite to that one it is smooth as compared to the uh, upper one this is hairy and this is totally free of hair this is totally smooth with no hair this is called as glabrous leaf next one uh, is called glacus uh, this leaf is thick and green and shiny here you can see uh, frequently such leaves are soft in nature uh, but uh, mm -hmm. they are thick and shiny spiny leaf as you can see the leaf has many spines these are spines which are present they are on the whole surface of the leaf it is also deeply incised in, uh, in nature but it produced so many spines therefore it is called as spiny leaf next is phyllotaxy uh, which is the arrangement of leaves on the stem actually if you have noticed uh, plants there are two types of leaves one is called as foliage leaf which is green leaf foliage foliage leaf this is green leaf and the other one is uh, floral leaves uh, which are sepal petal stem and carpal uh, the arrangement of these foliage leaves and these arrangement of floral leaves uh, is actually called phyllotaxy this arrangement of floral is called uh, uh, prefoliation and this is called as estivation here you can see this is very interesting <coughs> in this case uh, this swelling and this stem is called as node here i count one two three four five uh, this stem has five swellings which are called as node this is node and uh, the space between two nodes is called as internode this this from here to here this space is called as internode so if only one leaf is present on one node this is called as alternate here clearly you can see this is leaf number one let's say this is two it is three it is four and it is let's say five uh, one leaf and one node this is called as alternate arrangement of leaves of phyllotaxis in this case uh, you can see that two leaves are present on one node these this is the node and this is also a node this is a leaf this is a leaf this is a leaf and this is a leaf uh, when this condition occurs this is called as opposite now opposite leaves are again divided into two types this is also interesting in the first case it is called as opposite and superposed this one sorry 
this this is the case this is opposite this is the leaf this is the leaf that is two leaves arise and one load here you can see that the leaves uh, are present in the same direction this is the direction and this is the direction this is called as opposite and superposed uh, leaves are going in the same direction at opposite um, uh, pattern uh, in the other case uh, this one this is called as opposite and decussent this is interesting here you can see uh, this leaf and this leaf they are present at what direction and then this leaf and this leaf is present at right angle to one another and again this leaf and this leaf is present at right angle to this these two leaves so as in such a case in which uh, two leaves are present on one node but they are at right angle to one another this is called as uh, opposite and decussent and if the leaves are present straight forward this is called as opposite and superposed the final case is word leaves uh, and here this is the node and on this node you can see one two three four five six six leaves are present on one node and uh, producing a word uh, spiral structure this is called as a word uh, arrangement of pilot or pilot taxis and finally i recommend that uh, you may like to go to any green place a uh, garden or a lawn etc and uh, you have to take your notebook with you and see all the examples which you have studied over here and uh, it is hoped you will learn a lot from uh, fieldwork.